we want this to be a new conversation that goes around we want people to share their stories more because you don't know what your story would be doing to somebody else listening because there's a lot of people going through these kind of things now and there's no outlet to vent so for a start this could just be um, a platform where you could vent out your, your stories through our comment section send us a DM and just share out your experience know that there's a lot of people that are going through the same thing as you have or are doing at, th at this moment you know I have had experiences in my life where maybe in school or at home you come back with the results and basically it's always cool because as Nigerian we've spent most of our lives in school and the worst is if you were ever in boarding school it means you spend like almost your entire life in school and just have like two weeks break in the midst of all of that and it's always normal to have your parents or people around you say the other person that took first do they have two heads and you just wonder like okay at the time at that time you just wonder like but that's true do they have two heads maybe i should compete more and I saw this get into unhealthy competition where parents would go as far as actually doing the unthinkable to make their children become first positions and stuff in school and some people will even go steal people's notes and do some really crazy stuff so um, it's really got me thinking and I, I, I've, I've had several experiences because I was not so, so much of a bright person while growing up I, I was bright but not with books and education i was creative in all the possible ways that i could i could sing i can sing i can write i can do as much stuff as you can think of in the creative sphere and it was these things that gave me confidence growing up because i knew if i failed in book or blah 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 i could make up for it in other spheres of my life and it has really given me um, an opportunity to be able to express myself um, as I'm growing and I'm morphing into the man that I want to be. And also, in the university, I was um, I was I, I've always been a shy person around people I don't know. But when I'm comfortable with you, you just know me to be this crazy guy, the funny guy, the guy that talks too much kind of person and it really um, infringed on my self-confidence a lot because the time in school when we had phones phones were the raining thing blackberries and boy i didn't have a dime a dime to buy uh, a blackberry phone to fill among the, the crowd as at that time so i'll just go around with my little palasa phone palasa phone are those small nokia phones that has long lasting batteries and I'll just go around. I couldn't break it out when we we're having conversations with guys and people who were with iPhones and Blackberries and stuff. It, it it didn't look like so much to be going through at the time, but to me it really meant a lot because I was like, why couldn't I bring out my phone at that time? And it just made me feel little of myself. But as time went, I had to separate myself from like take a step take a step back and view this entire thing that I've been going through all my life and just have a time to reassess myself and it gave me this this thought to actually bullshit whatsoever was going on around me I am the most important thing to me and it should just remain that way that way I'll be able to give the best the best of the best of me and I noticed that if we allowed everybody give the best of themselves, the world would be filled with so much variety and it would just be such an interesting place to live in. Because we notice there's a lot of copy cutting and just fakeness going on around in the environment. And it's because of self-confidence. Self-confidence is a very, 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 very deep topic. And it's not so much talked about. And I just hope this campaign, this project, and all the beautiful people around me that have given their testimonies and said one or two things about themselves and the crew and the cast and everybody would be able to push this message up until the extent that where people will have really seamless conversations on how they've been able to overcome 
um, self-confidence situations and, and so on and so forth. So basically our clothing line is not just a clothing line, it's a clothing line that is supposed to tell you that you're beautiful and you're enough just the way you are. You, you make mad sense is how we describe that. My name is Ario Ifeok Adebanjo and I make mad sense.